to Lee, a 4-3 defeat at Paul Town on a filthy afternoon. Um, what are your thoughts on that one? <clears throat> um, I thought that the they're decent. I think they're a very good side. I think on the balance of play, they warranted their win because of the chances they probably created. But at the same time, I felt that we could have nicked Sank out of the game. And you know, we spoke before the game about how hard it is to come here. It's probably one of the hardest places to come in the league. And you know, making sure we don't give away anything early. Don't be silly. No set pieces. They attack the ball so well in their box. And lo and behold, a minute into the game, we give away a free kick and they score. And then we had good parts, good possession, but looked so vulnerable on the counter attack away from home, which shouldn't be happening. And the breakdown that, that led to them then scoring a second, I have to question half of Ironson's nose is across his face. He's down with a head injury. The referee plays on the whole way, they score. You know, and Arthur would have been in a pivotal position on the pitch to so maybe have stopped that. Ten nothing away that, that you know we still think we should do better on the second goal. And then we grew into the game, we scored a good goal and, and then I thought Joe's goal was outstanding, go 2-2, half-time, and look, uh, maybe I blame myself a little bit, maybe I should have gone to 3-5-2 and matched them up, I felt that when we'd done that at 3-2, I thought we looked better, and um, we didn't. We kept in it, and we, we kept believing that we could get something out of it, and I just felt that second half, we allowed them to pass, we allowed them to play, we allowed them to go into their front two, the third man runs were very good. And we just um, we just didn't deal with it. And when we got the ball back, we give it straight back. And when you do that against a good side, they're going to punish you. And then I just felt the manner of the third goal. Listen, if he's offside, then I'll back me defenders. But if he's not, we have to defend that better. It's poor defending for me if that's the, if that's the case. Because you know they swear blind is offside. But I need to see it before I before I make a big comment on it. And then we went at them. We give them a real good go and a real good going over. And then four two. And then we score with with five six minutes to go. And we thrown the kitchen sink at them, you know. And and but that's what they love. They can defend that. They're good at that. You know. You need to open them up and exploit them to their weaknesses. And if we're going to lump ball in the box, that's where they're normally very good. And um, they defended their lead very well. And um, congratulations to them. I think they're a very good side. So that's six points from nine after the, the six nil trouble at Plymouth. Uh, which would you have taken out after that that, that game and? Um, you know, going ahead now, we've got players back from suspension. Yeah, so listen, I'd, 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 have took, I'd have took four, you know, from, from the nine. We've taken six. We're in there. It's a long way to go. It's a long season. Lots of games to be played. Lots of points to be played for. I see some really good signs from us. You know, I take credit to them screaming at the ref with a couple of minutes to go because we've come to Paul Town and scored three goals. You know, that should be enough to win the game, though, for me. It's not. You know, we conceded too many against Swindon. We conceded too many against Truro. We conceded too many today. So something isn't right, you know. They, I can't really recall Marcin having to make a major save, you know, and that's disappointing. You did, yes, they had chances in the first half, but the second half especially, we conceded two goals, and I haven't had chance after chance after chance. So we have to, def we have to be better. We have to defend better. But take six points all day. On to the next one. We've got to keep ticking them off, and and you know we know we've got a bit to do, but everyone's got to play. Everyone, there's a lot to play for. There's loads to play for, and I see some really good signs out there today. We have to be better on the breakdown of the football. We'll not leave ourselves so vulnerable. But there's lots of good sides and um, lots of good signs, should I say, that I think we're half decent. We're a good outfit. We've got some good players to come back. But we've got to be better defensively. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Moving on to Tuesday, we've got North Greenfield in the Middlesex Cup. Like I said, you've got players coming back from suspension. Will we see minutes given to players to try and you know get them back in the swing of things? Yeah, it'd be minutes to players that I believe can win us the game. You know, it's as simple as that. I just said to them there, no boys are back now, it's time to start fighting for your shirts, everyone's had it a little bit easy. You know, I'm I'm, I'm disappointed in the manner of the goals today. You know, I'm disappointed in that because when you come away you need to make it really difficult for teams to score goals and the manner of the goals hurt a little bit. So we we have to make sure now that whoever comes into the side does things properly and that's not just centre halves, that's not just full backs, that's not just centre midfielders, that's everyone on the pitch and that's doing their job and I just felt today if we'd have done our job properly it might be a different outcome. Having said that, they're a good side, they're hard working, great forward line, uh, great number 10 so you know I expect them to be up there um, but you know it is what it is and we move on to the next one. And also just want to say a massive congratulations to Chipper today who have gone out and uh, beaten Lincoln, that's some achievement, and just shows how close we were. You know, yeah. We took them to two great games, and we, I, I keep saying it, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but we're not a million miles away. We're close, we just have to fine-tune a few, a few things to be better. Just, just one final question, because we scored two goals from set-pieces today, we scored one against Gosport from set-pieces, obviously big days and menace in the opponent's box. That's not something we've already had in the last couple of years. How, how, 
how much of a positive is that that we've got that in our armory now we can throw it in set pieces uh, absolutely <clears throat> if you look at our side today i think you've got david six over six foot Tarek over six foot arthur over six foot joe over six foot gabby over six foot Riddell's a good size tommy brewer attacks the ball really well for his size so we're a big side now and we're causing problems in boxes which is good but at the same time we've got to defend our box yeah. better because we've conceded a goal today from a free kick after one minute which we spoke about not doing yeah. and we've done it so it's all right scoring up that end we've got to keep them out at the other end as well as i say we've got to keep moving forward it's been positive couple of weeks let's not get too low after this one you know we've got uh, two home games i think in the league after and we've got to try and get something out of them two games it'll be hard two good sides coming to us but every game's tough well, cheers well done.